epic. <laughs> Welcome to Seriously Serial, episode 253. Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer run nonprofit dedicated to bringing people together. Find out more at www.seriouslyserial.org. Thanks, Booty. If you eat your cereal dry, then you're a snacker like our buddy, Bowler. Or if you prefer with milk, then you're a spooner like our friend, Spoon who's also the director of the show. Every month we post at least four episodes with a theme, and this month's theme is... Cake. Cereal cake, of course. Yep, you got it. <laughs> and today's cereal cake is Duncan Hines Cocoa Pebbles Cake. Ooh, epic. <laughs> So, unlike the Duncan Hines Fruity Pebbles cake box, this one did indeed have instructions to make cupcake forms of this cake. Faith, our baker, however, said that it didn't actually say how high to fill the tins. So, while it said that this mix would make 24 cupcakes, she just went ahead and made 12 large cupcakes. So this is a cake kit, not just a cake mix, right? Yeah, that's right. So it comes with the cake batter, but then also the cereal flavored frosting and a little bit of a cereal to put on top. And yes, there's no cereal in the actual like batter this time. But you'll still need water, eggs, and oil, right? Yeah, true. I wonder what the first cake was. Hmm. Before the 9th century, ancient Egyptians were making cake. Using barley or wheat flour and water, they would knead the dough as they added honey and dates to sweeten it, because no sugar was used yet. After kneading the dough, they placed it in cone-shaped molds to rise, giving it a cool, almost pyramid shape. The word cake comes from the Old Norse word keika. The ancient Greeks and Romans both made types of cakes using wheat, eggs, milk, nuts, and honey. The Roman poet Ovid even mentions his brother having a birthday cake at his birthday party. But cake really caught on in America during the Great Depression, when there weren't enough jobs and there was too much molasses, so it was very inexpensive. The Duncan Hines Cocoa Pebbles Cake Kit cost $4.98 and made 12 pretty big cupcakes, so that's about 41 cents per cupcake. Each cupcake has 325 calories, has 45 carbohydrates, and 29 grams of added sugar. Hmm, interesting. That's actually less calories, carbohydrates, and sugars than the Fruity Pebbles cupcake. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Alrighty. Let's give this a try. And once again, all the cereal pieces are going everywhere. <laughs> I think anything cereal related, that's just going to happen. I've never had a cupcake with cereal on it, but I have had donuts with cereal on it. Really? Yeah. Mm, that's cool. Which is pretty much exactly like this frosting and then cereal. Mm. It's strange, but not bad. Okay, I don't know if it's just the mindset of a chocolate cupcake, but I don't mind the crunchiness of the cereal as much. I don't do it with a fruity pebble block. Okay, and the cereal that we have, it seems like it's a, it has a little crunchier. It doesn't seem as stale as the other one, so... Yeah, this definitely yeah. doesn't seem stale to me. Yeah, so either maybe we got a bad box last time, or maybe it's like something about the, the cocoa pebble makes it a little more substantial, like the icing and whatnot, so... But yeah, that's good. It's a very uh, rich cake. It's yeah, very it dark. Yeah. Let me just try that by itself now. Mm. Decent, you know, rich chocolate flavor. Yeah, yeah, it's good. As for the icing, let me see if I can get a little bit of it without the actual... No, icing is don't very... Pick, don't pick things out of your food. <laughs> very <laughs> sugar your, forward. Right. It tastes a lot... Like, it tastes like a little bit like chocolate, but a lot like sugar. Yeah, and the icing is basically just chocolate icing. It's not... It doesn't really scream cocoa pebble. So what makes it Cocoa Pebbles, I think, is really like the little topping. And in this case, I yeah. think that's all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're good. It's a decent yeah. chocolate cupcake. Yeah, probably not like the greatest thing ever, though. 
No, I think for me, the frosting could definitely be more chocolatey. Mm -hmm. The frosting to me tastes more like the glaze on top of the, the cereal. It is know, a, it's a little than... bit gritty too. Not like yeah. too much, but like kind of like, like, kind of like mix, like frosting. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's not bad though. I think I'd give this a three as opposed to Fruity Pebbles four, just because it is a perfectly acceptable chocolate cupcake, but it, it's, it's nothing like very unique about it. As opposed to a Fruity Pebbles one, which I do believe tasted like Fruity Pebbles. And I think I want to say it did it pretty well for, you know, a box cake mix. And this one, I'd say everything goes together nicely. It's good chocolate cake, fa fairly good frosting, and the cereal gives a little nice crunch. But I just don't think it's something you can't get from like making a, a chocolate cupcake and then just putting like little sprinkles on top of it but yeah mm -hmm. not bad no it's good for a chocolate cupcake it's decent if you really like cocoa pebbles it's nice because it all comes you know in a mix together so that you only have to pick up one thing you don't have to think oh did i get the cereal and the frosting and the cake yeah. oh it's booty give me just one more and i just <laughs> have to booty. score <laughs> booty. <laughs> but i have to agree i feel like Often when there's these types of um, like sort of cereal yeah. items, when it's the chocolate version, if it's Cocoa Krispies or Cocoa Puffs mm -hmm. or in, any type of chocolate cereal, I feel like they just kind of phone it in a little bit. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to like capture the exact kind mm -hmm. of kind of chocolate cereal. <laughs> I see not even the right <laughs> side. <laughs> Oh, you're making sure we can see. I see. We can see, Spoonie! <laughs> so I think that I would give this a two, but I want to be clear, it's a two only because I don't feel like it tastes like the cereal. Yeah. It's a very good chocolate cupcake, yeah. and it's a very fun mix. Yeah, so I mean, I guess if you want a chocolate cupcake mix that includes like a little topping, the icing, and the cake on, yeah. on like a fun project for like something to have for dessert for like, I don't know, like the week or so, then yeah, pick it up. But if you're looking for like the definitive of cupcake Cocoa Pebbles experience, I don't think you're gonna find it here. No, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> to be paid by YouTube, but you can support the show by going to www.seriouslycereal.org and buying a book or a DVD or a t-shirt. And YouTube turns off comments because this is a kid's show, but we still love to hear from you, so email us at bluefortfilms at gmail.com and Spoonie Bono will write you back. Seriously Serial will be back next week with an all-new episode with a cereal cake theme. See you guys then. Bye.